Hello there guys, hello there guys and welcome to our 10th uh, Java game programming tutorial Today's tutorial, as we mentioned in the previous one, we're gonna go ahead and um, define the um, draw bullets function which we have up here In our previous tutorial we defined the draw ship and in the next tutorial we're gonna define the draw asteroids So, uh, if you guys didn't watch the previous tutorials, go ahead and check those out as, as you will need those in order to basically complete all, well, you will need our previous code and all the other classes we wrote in the previous tutorials in order to to proceed with this one. So if you haven't done that, go ahead and do that and then proceed with this tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started with that tutorial. It will be fa uh, fairly short, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna put a comma here and say draw bullets. Uh, bullets is called in the applet update event, which is called up here, just like we're calling it up here. And let's go and I'm gonna type public void draw bullets. Alright, let me put another comment here. We're gonna have a for loop here, so I'm gonna put this for loop iterates. Iterates um, through the bullets array. So you will have a four for n equals zero, n is less than bullets, which is the number of our bullets, and n plus plus. If you're wondering where we got that bullets variable, we all we defined it in our previous tutorial, which is up here. So we have bullets right here. So bullets is equal to ten, and we also will need um, um, the bullet array, which in my case I call bull. So whatever you call yours, we would use that inside of the for loop down here so inside of here we're going to have an if statement and this checks if the bullet is alive or not so to do that is simple we just type the name of the array and we put n and we type dot is alive this way we can check if the if, if the bullet is actually um, if, if the bullet is actually on the screen or not. If the bullet is on the screen, um, then we can go ahead and draw the graphics. So if the bullet is alive, what we're going to go ahead and type is G2D, which is our graphics component. And remember that we also def uh, declare that up here. So let's go back here and G2D dot set transform and identity just like we did in our previous function here in the draw ship next we'll type g2d and we're gonna go ahead and type translate so what we need to do uh, essentially is basically we need to get the x and y location of the bullet here so to do that we're gonna type bull which is our name of the array n and then uh, get x and similarly here we're gonna get y so we type bull and get y so now that we have the x and y let's go ahead and type g2d dot set color so let's set the color of the bullets and uh, color and set it to any color you want I'm gonna send it to my color also to magenta but you guys can set it to wh whatever color you prefer and next let's go ahead and actually draw the bullet so g2d and let's type draw and let's type bull and then n and then get shape so that we're getting the shape and draw that bullet so what we're doing here when we basically saying get shape we are going inside of our bullet uh, class here and remember we define the transform in here uh, so here we have uh, the uh, how big we want the bullet to be and the size of the bullet. In our case, it's only one by one pixel. It's only one pixel, so not a big deal there. Um, so basically, this is our this function will be drawing the bullets. Sim simply, we just set the transform to the identity transform, and we tra we get in we get the x and y locations of the bullet, and then we set the color and we actually draw the bullet. And we use a for loop to iterate through the bullets. If the user shoots uh, multiple bullets that way we, we have that's why we have this for loop in order to go to the for loop and make sure that uh, to check if the bullets are alive or not and if they are alive then we should go ahead and uh, uh, draw them and also update 
and also update the and then also basically the update event is gonna call that function and basically draw the bullets. So also make sure uh, as I see here I actually misspelled bullets. So let me fix this bullets. So as you see in here the bullets uh, which it was underlined by a red line. So since we haven't defined it yet, now it's defined, so it's fine. So thank you for watching the tutorial guys. In this tutorial we go ahead we define the bullets class. And if you guys haven't watched my other tutorials guys go ahead and watch those and please leave comments with any concerns or suggestions you guys have about any, any tutorials you guys want. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel guys, please go, ahead, uh, please go ahead and do that as well. It truly means a lot and it gives me a lot of feedback. Um, basically, and that way I, I can see if you guys do like the videos or not. So please, forget, uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys and uh, we'll be back with our 11th tutorial. We're going to go ahead and define the Asteroids class in that tutorial. So thank you for watching and stick around for more.